Hello guys, this is Richard here. This is the second part of my DaVinci Resolve grading tutorial. Same as in the first part, I will be grading a footage from DJI Mavic Pro, but this time instead of using LUT, I will be creating my look from scratch. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve. My file is loaded, as well as my scopes are open. If I look at the scopes, I can see that image is fairly dark, still flat and fairly desaturated. This is the result of the d -Log image profile. In the first note, I'm going to adjust the contrast. As I said before, the waveform shows that image lacks contrast. So I'm going to change the label on my first note, name it contrast, and this time instead of curves, I'm going to use primary wheels. I'm going to bring the darks a little bit down and increase the gamma and gain. For the look I have in mind, I will not have very bright areas in the image. The brightest area is going to be the screen left portion when sunset down. I turn the node on and off to see the increase in the contrast. I can see the waveform is a little bit wider now. In my second node, I'm gonna create my look and it's not going to be anything crazy. I'm going to push a little bit blue in the darks and orange color in the highlights. These were the main two colors I already had in the image. I'm just going to give them a little bit of pop. Take a look at the full screen and here is the result after contrast and a little bit of color added into shadows and highlights. You can see the change in the waveform as I'm turning the grade on and off. Similarly as in previous tutorial, in the next note I'm going to darken the sky. I create a gradient power window and I place it into position to make sure that my adjustment only affect the sky. Once I'm happy, I move over to Curves tab. I make sure I will be adjusting only the luminance. Red, green and blue channel remain unaffected. I sample the area in the sky which drops a point on a curve and I know my adjustment will be happening around that point. I introduce a slight S-curve and bring it down to darken the sky. My goal again is to not make very crazy adjustment, it has to be very subtle. Again I preview before and after. I still keep checking the waveform and vector scope. There is a small area with the bright green light that actually falls outside of the legal colors. I'm pretty sure it's hard for you to see it on the YouTube after the compression, but the values are very saturated and very bright. So I create a parallel node and I'm going to address this issue. To be organized, I name the node Neon, go to Qualifier tab and click on the Neon sign to qualify the color. Then I adjust the hue, saturation and luminance in the Qualifier window to get a nice, clean and full selection. I also blur it a little bit. I go back to the primary wheels and I push a little bit of complementary color into it. That will neutralize the green color and it's not so saturated anymore. In my next node I'm going to create a glow in the area where sun is setting. For this I will use the built-in glow filter that comes free with DaVinci Resolve. It works similarly with the flare filter that I used in previous tutorial, so just refer back to it. The only difference is that the glow will have a regular shape, it will be not streaky. After this parallel group I create a serial node and call it saturation. I increase the saturation and then I move over to Luma versus saturation tab and make sure that I desaturate the darkest part of the image. I continue with another serial node, call it blur and same as in previous tutorial again you can refer back, I'm going to blur the image. I change the setting from 0.5 to 0.53, which works with the 4K image for me. I explained why I'm doing this in my previous tutorial. I leave link in the description or you can click on the card and go watch that tutorial first. In the next note I introduce an obligatory vignette. I create a radial power window, put it into place and then move over to curve step and darken the corners. Again this change is very subtle. And last step remaining is adding a grain. Again, for this purpose I will use exactly the same steps as I did in my previous tutorial. And this is the final result. 
The only difference is that in this particular case I created my look in my second node while in previous tutorial I used LUT and I was changing the image prior to LUT. I hope you liked the tutorial and now let's take a look at the bot clips. I think they work really well.